Welcome to Realtor Gary Kelly's podcast on all things real estate. Hi, this is Gary Kelly. Welcome back to the show. We're here at Chet's Diner today. We are doing this on a Friday morning and Lala Java warned us that we'd be very busy and we thought that the bean grinder would be grinding. So uh, we, we came to Chet's Diner because I wanted to introduce you to Carl Lund. I actually met Carl here at the diner. So uh, Carl, Carl is, I'm gonna let Carl tell you what he is. Okay, because one of the questions I've got for you is, you've got a series of licenses in, in this space. Can you run through what those are and, and more importantly what they're for? Okay, uh, the CSL is a construction supervisor license, which, which requires uh, continuing education and that allows the CSL holder to work on residences or buildings up to 35,000 cubic feet. Sounds like a lot, but it's not that much. Uh, continuing education is uh, 12 hours every for every two years on the license renewal. Um, the other license I hold is the uh, license in Massachusetts. It's a local building official uh, that can work underneath a building commissioner in town and do inspections on resident, residential inspections. Um, I cannot sign off on a uh, occupancy permit. That's the building commissioner's duty. So my license is below uh, a building uh, building commissioner's license. Now there's also a home improvement contractor license. Where, where does that fit in the scheme of things? If you're in business for yourself, doing work for contracts above, I believe it's six hundred dollars. Uh, you have to have a home improvement contractor's cert registration with the state. And um, that just lets the homeowner know that there's a more or less a guaranteed fund, I believe it's up to $10,000. If I fail to perform the job properly, drop out of it uh, for whatever reason, um, they can put a claim into the state and uh, receive compensation. It may not be enough, but it, there's something there for it. So what's the, is there a hierarchy of the licenses? Which is which is the biggest and baddest, and which one's the kind of, you know, well, yeah, yeah. The uh, building commissioner's license would be the, the top of the chain. That's your building commissioner in every town. Every town has a building commissioner. Uh, lower licenses would be something under the CSL. You can have a restricted uh, construction supervisor's license. That would only cover roofing and side wall. Uh, I believe windows is included in that, replacement windows. But, my, but most of the general contractors have a, um, an un, uh, I'm losing the term. Unrestricted? Unrestricted, correct. See, I can do that. That's right? big help. Okay. That was a big help. <laughs> okay, good. So if I have someone coming to my home, what kind of license should they have? If they're going to sign a contract with somebody for any kind of a sizable job, uh, they should have their construction supervisor's license, which will allow them to take a building permit to do whatever job has been hired for. Most everything requires a building permit, uh, from re most repairs, windows, doors. Uh, so you need to be, if somebody says that you don't need a building permit, you might want to investigate with the building department and ask them about that. Otherwise, a homeowner can take a building permit on their own by signing a waiver on the building document and that would allow them to, to cover the, the job to get the building permit. But then you're required to cover anybody that's uninsured. So now you have to make sure you have a rider on the homeowner's insurance that covers somebody coming from the outside in and working on your home. So the best thing is to make sure that someone has a license and that it's the right kind of license for the work that you want to have done. Right. Okay. As long as the guy's going to take a building permit, he's going to be in the town records as having, you know, he's got to prove his license is current and he has nothing pending against him. Okay. I want to thank Carl for coming out today and spending time talking to us about licenses.